When you play guitar, the strings oscillate over time in different repeating patterns that can produce different sounds. Analyzing the repeating pattern of a signal is usually the important step for more complex signal processing techniques, such as signal filtering, spectral estimation, and data compression. In this video, you will learn how to use the FFT function in MATLAB to analyze the repeating pattern of a signal. To begin with, we first set up sampling rate and the signal duration. Sinusoids are waveforms that oscillate smoothly over time and can be used to describe the repeating pattern of a signal. We start with synthesizing the example discrete signal segment by adding three sinusoids with different amplitudes, frequencies, and phases together, and then plot the signal in the time domain. You can see the signal changes in a repeating pattern. However, it is hard to tell even only the frequencies of the sinusoid components, just relying on the time domain plot. A mathematic process called discrete Fourier transform DFT can be used to decompose a discrete signal into a set of sinusoids. And the fast Fourier transform FFT provides a highly optimized implementation of DFT. Let us try if the FFT function in MATLAB can help us determine the sinusoid components. The FFT function returns the same number of complex numbers as the input signal samples. Let us plot the magnitudes of the complex numbers. You can see there are six spikes distributed symmetrically. The three spikes on the left-hand side already carry enough information, so you can eliminate the ones mirrored on the right-hand side and then change the x-axis from sample index to frequencies, and further change the scale of the y-axis by dividing the magnitudes with half of the sample size. In the frequency domain plot, you can see the locations of the peaks represent the frequencies of the sinusoid, whereas the heights of the spikes indicate the amplitudes. The phase offsets can be calculated by using the angle function respectively on the complex number as the spikes. In most real-world cases, the signal duration may not contain the integer number of signal cycles. In this case, you can see the spectrum spread among the labeling frequencies instead of sharp spikes. We usually first do zero padding which is a process of appending samples of zero amplitude to a signal. After updating the number of samples, you can now see the frequency domain plot has three main lobes, each of which is surrounded by a lot of side lobes. The windowing method, which multiplies the original signal with the window function before zero padding, helps reduce the side lobe interference. The tasks can be done using various window functions. However, you should tune the scaling parameter to gain the correct amplitudes when windowing with different functions. Finally, please type help FFT in the command window to get the details on how to use the FFT function with different input parameters. And see the related functions such as IFFT for the inverse DFT and FFT2 for the two dimensional DFT. FFT blocks are also provided in Simlink. Both MATLAB and Simlink support automatic code generation for implementing FFT on specific hardware such as FPGAs, ARM processors, and NVIDIA GPUs. Thank you.